The coronavirus brought with it closures and shutdowns. And while some businesses began to reopen weeks ago, others like nursing homes and churches are moving at a slower pace. KCAU 9 News reporter Lydia Vasquez joins us live from our newsroom to share what the road to reopening looks like for those facilities, as well as how they're preparing for a possible second wave. She has the details in our top story at 5. Tim, some parts of the country are preparing for another surge, and the closure of businesses are happening for the second time. Here in Siouxland, some businesses are working for the possibility to keep COVID-19 and the cases away from the area. At Westwood Specialty Care, the facility is still in phase one. That includes no outside visitors. The administrator says the center will stay in phase one until it has enough personal protective equipment. We would have to change the PPE um, with every resident contact. As of this point, um, we are not doing that and um, because we have not had any infections uh, in this facility. But we, we have to have enough PE to, to use it in that, that manner, and that might be very difficult. Jack Suter says the chance of a second wave of COVID cases remains a top concern. We are not letting our guard down, and um, we are you know, continuing to uh, temp our, our staff um, in and out on every shift. We are um, you know, monitoring our PPE use. At Radiant Life Community Church, Pastor Doug Collins says things are different, like the way communion is served. They allow that no one has to touch any of the, the food itself while we're serving communion. Pastor Doug says the church has plans in place in case Siouxland gets hit with a strong second wave of COVID. When the first surge hit, we were limited to 10 people at a time. We went to three services. If we were looking at another surge, we would look at something like that so that we could still have a physical contact with people and we could, the room is um, big enough that we can get people away from each other and they can have that social distancing. He adds the church offers online services, free masks and other cleaning supplies every Sunday. The church and the nursing home are very different places and they do things in very different ways. But what they do have in common is putting safety first and preparing for the possibility of a second surge of COVID-19 cases just in case. Reporting live in the newsroom, Lydia Vasquez, KCAU 9 News.